Hi guys, it's Dana Ren with another video on how to answer select all that apply questions. I know that some people have been coming up and asking me about different tips and tricks um, to answer these questions and I just got to say that there's no easy way to do this because you really have to know your core content and um, know your information. However, I can show you different methods to answer different questions with different contents and hopefully that works for you. So before we begin, um, I believe that you have to have two things. So I've already said core content is number one and it's a really big one. Um, if you don't know kind of the background of a pathophysiological um, condition or a medication, there's no way you will be able to answer a select all that apply question and that's just the truth of it all. You can't guess because um, you either have to get all the, all the answer choices correctly or the answer is wrong. So there's no partial marks. And then second huge, huge, huge thing is confidence and don't doubt yourself when you're answering these type of questions. So once you've highlighted your answer choices, don't go back over the question and try to think of perhaps other options that should be included. If you've answered it, you've answered it, move on. So here we go. Uh, a client is newly admitted to the mental health unit with a diagnosis of schizophrenia with persecutory delusions. Which nursing interventions should the nurse include in the client's plan of care? Now, we really have to think about what this question is asking us. We know that we have a client that just came into the unit, um, and it's a mental health patient, so it says here that it's a mental health unit, which means that the client is mental health, and uh, the, the diagnosis is schizophrenia. Now, it goes later to say that the client has persecutory delusions. So off to the side, grab a pen and paper, and sort of write down a list of things that you, know, um, that you might know uh, that are associated with the condition of schizophrenia. So we know uh, the schizophrenia is detachment from reality. Detachment. Uh, we also know that, um, you know, they might not be aware uh, to person, place, time. Person, place, time. And then persecutory delusions are associated um, with someone, so you can write it off to the side, so someone trying to, someone trying to uh, come after you or uh, persecute you for um, whatever. So someone is after you. The question asks, which nursing interventions should the nurse include in the client's plan of care? Now, this means that the plan of care should be associated, plan of care should be associated with schizophrenia and persecutory delusion. Now, with the core content and core knowledge that we have regarding the schizophrenia condition, as well as the persecutory delusions, we have to go in order and treat each answer as a true or false. So let's look at the first one. And it says, explore meaning behind the client's delusions. Now, do we explore the meaning at this point? Do we want to know why the client is having these delusions? Now, what this means is, and I gave you a key word as explored meaning behind, which means that why are they having these delusions? Now, do we want to ask the client why? So, no, the answer would be no. The nurse never asks why. So we eliminate this answer completely. Exploring the meaning is not a priority at this point. 
Now the second answer choice gives us focus on reality and verbally enforce it. Now, it might sound a little bit aggressive. We're focusing on reality when the client is, you know, having uh, persecu persecutory delusions. However, we know that focusing on reality and verbally enforcing it will decrease the time that the client spends thinking about their delusions, right? So we don't know for sure yet, you know, we're just gonna keep this answer as a as a choice. Oops, sorry, move the camera. We're just gonna keep this answer as a choice, all right? So we're just gonna put a little circle behind, beside it, sorry. Um, and, you know, sounds pretty good to us. Now, the third one says, focus on the client's feelings secondary to their delusions. Now what this means is we're focusing as to how the client feels regarding their delusions. Now does the nurse want to explore client feelings and does the nurse want to know how their client is feeling? Yes, we do want to know, but again, we're not sure, it's a select all that apply, there might be other better ones, so we're just going to put a circle beside it as well. Now the fourth answer choice says gently question the client about their false beliefs. Now this sounds pretty good to us, you know, we're going to gently question the client about their false beliefs. Be careful, you're taking the NCLEX exam. Just because there's the word gently gives us a good sort of but we're only questioning them really gently like we're just gonna question them about why they're having their false beliefs again this answer choice reflects the why component so this answer choice is eliminated again I'm gonna stress this out be careful of these I'd call them fluffy words. Be careful of these words because they will appear on your exam and you will want to select them like gently question or carefully reposition. When you're answering a reposition question, you have to know what surgery did they have. Are you trying to promote something or prevent something? Just because the word gently or slowly or comfortably is there doesn't mean that the answer might be correct. The last answer choice reads as follows, provide logical and medical reasoning to their delusions with a firm discreditation. We're providing medical reasoning, so we want to give client knowledge about their condition. However, they're currently having delusions and they have schizophrenia, all right? Now, will the client be able to understand what we're telling them? And why are we discrediting their delusions. We never discredit what the client says or how the client feels. This answer, this, sorry, this word alone should tell you that this answer choice is wrong. So we're gonna eliminate this. So we're left with these two. Now focus on reality and verbally enforce it. As I said before, focusing on reality and, vo and verbally enforcing it will limit time that the client is spending on their delusion. Now, this answer choice says, focus on the client's feelings secondary to their delusions. Do we want to know how our client is feeling? Do we want to know how their feelings reflect this condition? Yes, we do. So we're going to choose that as an answer choice.